There we go. There we go. Hello. Awesome. <laughs> I, also, I, make I, sure I, to not trash the sword. You can actually turn that into a really good weapon eventually. Oh, okay. Right, so this is going to be good because I know functionally nothing about this game. So you're going to have to ha hold my hand the whole way through. Yeah, no problem. Okay, uh, let's see. Tom, do you want to be called Tom Sleep Cycles? Like, I was going to ask this. Tom or Tom or Sleep Cycles, whatever. whatever. Tom is probably okay. easiest. Yeah. Uh, you want to come over here? I'm going to throw some resources at you so you can make some armor. I don't yeah, know if they're going to... Oh, yeah, it's G. There it is. Ooh. Let me give you some iron bars. Uh, there we go. Okay. That should make you most of it if you check out the anvil over here. This is nice for up. armor, weapons. The... Yeah. Right, so C. C for crafting. I remember that. No, uh, just C for you... crafting is your... Is... Yeah, ah. it's your basic inventory crafting. Oh, yeah. you press over e. on objects. I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, so, <laughs> what's best to craft first than just the, uh, the, the base make... armor? Yeah, just make armor. I've yeah, we can got... only make the base armor. I've got a sword for you, actually. Uh, let's see. There you uh, go. If you back, back up a bit. As well. There you go. Oh, nice. The sword. The sword's back towards the other part of the anvil. If you can. There you go. Uh -huh. I don't know which one's better, but I figured. Eh. Choices. I'm not using them. So good. This, get this thing. No special, but. Eh. Uh, oh man, the, the the rebel hood looks pretty pretty cool. I like the armor sets. Like what I've seen in the armor sets, they look pretty cool. Oh yeah. Uh, the people they had doing the, like, visual design for this game aced it. Yeah, the, uh, the main artist worked on Terraria as well. Like, the guy who set it up, the whole studio. Oh, really? <laughs> Hula Town. Uh, let's see. So I don't have... Oh, right. Uh, I needed to make the teddy bear. What do I need for that? Oh, well, that's actually really easy. If we, if we take too long with the teddy bear, the shop will fix itself. Oh. Is what I found out. Good to know. I guess I might as well do it today for once anyway. Just so I yeah. actually, like, do it correctly. Uh, where's the quest as well, but, yeah. So, how do I, how do I get string? What's my... What's my <laughs> okay, so, string is from plant fiber. Uh, so we gotta go... Just vines and stuff like that. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, actually, vines are over here as well. Okay, what's your current quest, Tom? Because you should probably lead the way on this one. Oh, it's we don't uh, we... the good old getting started quest. <laughs> yeah. Because we, uh, we have to follow that. Oh, okay. So going. what you have to do is like you, you got to beam back to your ship. Right. And we'll have, we'll have to help you on your first planet because we've done it on our planet. Oh, already. so so we can't progress until I've done all the baby quests on my side. Yep. Uh, ah, well, we could, but uh, it doesn't really help you that much. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it's it easier for all on the same page. And no. the beaming up button is on the right upper side of your screen, like beneath the magic manipulator. Ah. Oh, there is there. I'm, I'm glad you said because I was kind of pressing buttons randomly to see if I could find it myself. But. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't actually know if I've seen an apex. Uh, let's see. How do I get to? How do I get to his ship? I just via oh, your ship go. teleport. Found it. Uh, you can also re uh, right click on his. Oh yeah, okay, that's cool too. Huh. Let's see. Apex have really sterile looking ships. This is really weird. Yeah, they they've got a strange cultural style. Like their ships are very scientific, but their actual cultural style is very eighties, seventies ish. That's really weird. Well, uh, the, you know, I I guess this kind of makes sense. The like kind of weird. He's got they're, like, they're this based on, on a thing. book that I forgot about right now. Okay, look it up for a second. But yeah, it's one of the cooler ships, I'd say. Like one of the most futuristic one. Nice. Yeah, and the pet is weird as well. I don't know what it is, like a ferret or something. Right. So it also wants food. What What do I do? What that? <laughs> uh, we 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 can beam down to the planet. Like we're orbiting a planet right now, which is the starting planet, and it kind of gives you the whole starting experience. Like we yeah. get our first mini boss fight and everything. All right. Just okay, so. do your Just do your quest, and we'll follow you. All right. Yeah. You You also have a quest tracker, which is on the upper right corner. No worries. You should at least track your quest. Should be. Let's see if this is a new planet or not. Yeah, yeah, it is. It does. It yeah, does, it, it's. I haven't messed it up yet. I think so. Yeah, so yeah, there's some crops over here as well and everything. So just search for supplies. So basically just grab whatever's uh, going. We're going it should into say the... that we, we have to discover an archaic energy source or something. Or actually, for you, it probably says, like, explore the planet, something like that. Yeah, it just basically says, have a look around and grab some supplies. I think. Yeah, uh, we're looking for a dude with a tent. 
Yeah, the, the guide, and we're looking for the portal. Yeah, I'll go this way. I'll see if I can find him over here. And also, planets actually loop in Starbound, so if we walk to the west uh, long uh, enough, we'll come out at the other side. Yes. Okay. But this is a good spot for you also. Keep an eye out for, uh, you were asking about plant fiber, plant fiber. or is it string? Yeah, string. yeah uh, plant fiber uh, from been... vines. Yeah, there will be a bunch of, like, basic caves that you can get into. Alright, no problem. Yeah, there's actually some plant fiber oh. over here. Like, Already this found some from the ceiling. This ah. is a... Uh, Lines that'll get you a lot right there. I already nice. found the uh, portal. It's just to the right of spawn. Okay, cool. Wait, just to the right? That's kind of good. Yeah, it's actually pretty fast. And if you want to uh, kill stuff in the background, like in the back wall, you right click with your magic manipulator right. instead of what. All right, all right. So, do okay. we ever upgrade this matter manipulator fella? Or yeah, 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 just... yeah. The, the button above your beam up button that is like your whole upgrade panel for your uh, manipulator. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Um, I'm certainly excited. I've been meaning to get into Starbound for a long time. It's just there's never been the opportunity to actually sit down with folk that know kind of what's going on. So yeah, I'm, yeah uh, 1.0 was a good um, good opportunity for everyone to get aboard finally, because they wiped it so many times. I just saw that it was coming out, and I was like, I know Gull of Doom plays this a ton. Let's uh, let's see if I can get a group together or something. Oh, you got the Morphle. Oh yeah, I have Morphle too. Yeah. What about this? I. I don't think it makes me faster, which makes me kind of sad because yeah, I said, it makes like, you look cool at least. I mean, it's, yeah. And eventually we can upgrade it to actually uh, scale walls as well. Oh, oh yeah! I did. Uh, one of my fans has been playing this and uh, sharing screenshots, and I'm like, I'm jealous, but I can't progress because that would be, that would break everything. I'm just gonna steal food. I'm. Okay. Oh. Ooh, cotton fiber. Okay. Mm -hmm. I right. see. You're just going. You're just going to loot. Loot Tom's. Tom's starting planet for all it's worth. I mean, Fine. Take what you want. It's all. It's all good. It's all good. It's a lot of plants. <laughs> Mikasa, Sukasa. You know. <laughs> so, so we're looking for a cave, basically, right now, and that should lead us to like a first school fight. Yeah. Uh, Which see. we should probably let you fight alone to just uh, <laughs> just to get enjoy I'm about it. to die. Ah, <laughs> uh, here, Tom. Ah. Uh, yeah, if you need, yeah, Sal. Yeah. If you press C, you can actually make Sal out of uh, plant fiber, which is your first basic healing item. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, but I just chucked what, like thirty something at you? Yes, yeah, yeah. So you should be good for a while. Absolutely. I was like, thank you. I wonder if Tom's just not going to notice that he's dying, and then I looked at my health that I had <laughs> that, less that's, than That's that's why I started running I away. I was like, I think I might die here. <laughs> So, right, so the cost underneath the crafting item, is that how much it costs when you craft it, or how much it costs you to craft? There's no, like a... Right. Let's see. No, uh, you mean no, beneath the item? Beneath the box? Yeah, that's the pixel cost. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the amount to craft, I think. Or wait, yeah, you're you, talking about the pixel cost? Yeah, you have to hover over the specific item to see uh, what it costs. So to make a salve, if you hover your cursor over it, it'll say, ingredients, plant fiber, three out of four. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Awesome. I'm kind of missing my spear. I have to get it from my my home world. Oh, you banked it? I I banked it because this sword does more damage, but it doesn't have any kickback. Yeah, but I, I'm st I, I'm still loving the spear, man. Yeah, like, it's still well, the but, shitty spear I have right now, but I'm still rolling with it. I'll probably find another one. I mean, most of the weapons that we've gotten haven't had like any extra damage, so they're not really worth going out of out of our way for. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll find some cool stuff underground eventually as well. Like the real oh. cool stuff is in random dungeons and everything. I, I think we'll get the really cool stuff once we leave the first planet, which I yeah. do should be doing fairly fast today. See, that's what I was oh, hoping yeah, for. Um, way back when, when I was playing the game, I remember there being random like buildings and structures and shit, but there was never anything in them, which was kind of disappointing, but... Oh, there's, there's so many things now, it's ridiculous. Nice. Like, I'm playing about four playthroughs at once, and <laughs> th I keep finding new stuff, and it blows my mind, because I've been playing the game from start, and... There's new stuff for me to find, which is like, I, I don't know how, but good job. Hey, yeah, Tom. Uh, you might want to equip some of those new weapons that we threw at you. Oh, yeah, That sure. basic starting sword is, uh... Yeah, the weapons just work by the hotbar. Yeah. Let's see, I also have a deed on me. Oh, yeah, this is a much more fancy sword. Yeah. Yeah, and um, two-handed weapons also have a right-click ability, which is their special. If you hover over your sword... Oh, my God, it's the cool one again. Yep. 
So it does take energy to use that, but they are so great. That is and also cool. energy is like not hard to come by. You get it back in instantly. Yeah, it, it's it's your stamina basically, future stamina. Oh shit! There's a machine in this cave over here. Oh, like on the, the wall. Oh, there's a guy yeah, next. You, okay, yeah, that's that's the guide. If you talk to him, uh, for new people, he gives you a bunch of like tips and everything. Let me actually give yeah. you some pokeballs to. Uh, if you weaken a monster to like 25%, throw that at them, you can make them your pet. Really? This That's also awesome. means that we're close to the mine. I yeah, think. well this is the mine over here, I think. Oh. It's left? It's You're looking right. kind of weird. Oh yeah, it is, okay. That yeah, was a weird just, I, I'm used to it being immediately the mine, and this time around, it's like, not at all. Also, one thing you creature. for sure want to do is, when you see crates and stuff like that, chests and everything, loot everything. There's mm. always cool stuff in there. Let's well, see. my horror monster uh, sacrificed itself. <laughs> I think the fight should actually be... Yeah, okay, the fight is to the left. That should be fun. Should be fun. We probably... Well, I mean, we can help. But we kind of crush that thing right now. Oh, yeah. You do want to heal yourself up before you uh, take on that thing in there. All right. Uh... Nice benefit is also, uh, if you do die, you can teleport to any of your party members. So yep, as long yep, as we yep. don't die all at the same time. Uh, we don't have to worry about, like, getting spread out. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so those are pop-tops. That's, that's a mother pop-top with the uh, pop-top babies. See, the wee ones, I was like, I could take them easily, and the big one swaggered over, and I was a little scared. Um, Let's see, uh, I'll help out a little bit. I'll, I'll kill some of the small ones, so I can get some ground over here. So, Go. you said we're looking for a boss down here? Yeah, That's this it. is the mini-boss fight, which is to kind of, like, introduce you to the combat. So, feel free to fight it. You be careful. <laughs> that Tom is a, cool has a boost, really though. weird mine. There's like a fishing area over yeah, here. Yeah, it's it's strange generation. That is a good move set. Good god, that sword. It's a lot of fun so to use as well. So we're also looking for core fragments to fix up the portal, which is kind of what your first plan of this for as well. I've got, I think I've got a hundred that I can share oh, with shit. them. God. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty basic fight, but it's kind of cool to take on an enemy like this on your first planet. It's going well. Yeah, it's not bad. Do it. I need to be a little bit further away when he goes for that old swipe. Yeah, he, he kind of fakes out the swipe as well sometimes. There we go. Okay, well, he killed the pop top. Good job. And if you loot these crates over here, also a um, a very good tip for the game is if you hold down left alt, you can see what is interactable. Oh. And the interactable crates, that means like there's actually storage in them, so there will be items in them. So take all the shit basically, loot everything, like you're playing Skyrim or something. Oh. All right, okay. There we go. So you don't actually need to break them open to get the stuff, you can just, you know, E on them. And not only if you also want the crates with you. Yep. Right. I mean, they're just normal well, crates, so that's, whoa. Okay, uh, you I'll just ended up with 40 core fragments. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to him. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's the stuff we need to fix up your gate. Nice. Which, um, I think, technically we can go back up to the gate and go to a real planet and go to the mission and get to some real adventures, so. I mean, we could. Should we? Uh, yeah, we might as well go on to the next planet. Uh, it's not like right. the difficulty goes up too much. How I do I get a double um, jump? <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't have double jump. <laughs> I forgot. I'm, I'm a little bit stuck, lads. <laughs> we can do it like this. Okay, uh, we can go... Actually, let's go get him the double jump and stuff first. I think we get the resources yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, well, we just need to make sure that we hook up his portal. Like, once we've done that, he can yeah. go anywhere as well. You know, so, I bet if we go to the left, it'll be equidistant. This is pretty far. Yeah, we might find some cool stuff, too. Yeah. Because the alternative is just go pack, back past all the <laughs> crap that we don't care about. And can you murder NPCs? Not that I'm gonna, just, you know, just... Uh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can murder townsfolk um, if you piss them off enough. Like, if you actually keep on stealing, they'll eventually set the guards on you, and then you can just ah. kill anyone. Yep. However, you can't just, like, straight up murder them. You no, they actually put in some attacks. NPC protection. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Because you ended up just killing people at times. Let's see? Though there are like, uh, they're like bandits that attacked us. That's where I got the, the yeah. bandana. Yeah, the spoke. bandits dropped some cool gear. Yeah. Some vanity stuff. What the hell? It's like a Pikachu horror monster. <laughs> the random generation in this game makes some pretty it, weird it's, things. 
it, it's some like bloodborne dark souls kind of shit at times like what <laughs> what even why do you exist so the monsters are randomly generated as well yes uh, there, there's oh. a lot of like um actual design ones and yeah. i think you can pick them out because they look just they just look better and there's also horribly generated ones just to uh supplement the cool stuff in the game they give you a little bit of variety but it's also uh not great here you know i'll wait next to one of these things so you guys can see what i'm talking about just some extra stuff you can kill uh, let's see i assume you guys are are heading west yeah 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 we're close okay. i think there's also a chest oh. here i forgot i do have a spear hey it's actually a new one Oh yeah, th that ability. Not a big fan because it drains your no. energy like crazy. I I use it to stop enemies and then I poke. Yeah, them. Yeah, it's cool to keep enemies at bay, but like, okay. you can use it for a second pretty much. Yeah, oh, these God. are the Pikachu horror monsters that I was talking oh, about. Oh, that is actually a horrifying thing, and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Also, the rock monsters. These are uh, just normally designed. Uh, eh, bananas. Wait. Oh. Oh shit. So you're going to be able to find a lot more cool stuff on, like, other planets. The first planet is just your tutorial island. That's yeah. all it is. So do do enemies scale with, like, planets that you visit? So, for instance, the first one's going to be easy, then you go to, like, planet, like, say, planet 10 will be rough? Or is it just completely uh, yeah, random? The, um, uh, basically, the higher the star you go to, like, a Frozen Star, uh, the, the other one was, like, Fury Star, those are fairly high-level planets. They will have stronger monsters and everything. Did we find the frog people? Yeah, we found a frog person. He had a they hazmat cool. helmet. <laughs> oh, so, I can murder him! <laughs> so the frog people, I don't know what their deal is. They don't speak to you. They just live out in the swamps and, uh, good. Well, Wander's killing them. <laughs> that's, that's, he didn't even say anything, but that's fine. Apparently so, I'm a villain. There'll be more. No regrets. There, wait, there's a chest down there. Yeah, it had another hazmat helmet and, uh... uh Matter uh, manipulator mod module. If we can get two more, uh, we can actually get Tom the the three by three. Um, don't you need it as well, or did you? Get I already it got it. Okay, cool. I I've got two on me, so let me give it to you. Um, so the manipulator modules, which is what we're giving you right now, those mm -hmm. you need to upgrade your um, manipulator. Oh, I see. You could, do it, you could just do it from anywhere. Um, I also have some tech cards, which we might want to keep our hands on. Yeah, I'm. Those no. are bombs. Ah, they won't hurt us cool throwing blocks as well so what is the best um the best upgrade to go for first i'd recommend the three by three yeah it's the radius the top left one you get a bird this is why i love the spear <laughs> this is why i love it all right perfect so now your manipulator sucks a little bit less oh this these... is a cool place though nice. these blocks go solid is this like a craftable block that you throw, or how does that work? So those hazmat pants in here, yeah, those are um, throwable blocks. Like they're actually a weapon. You just you just find them randomly. So that over here on the ground is a vanity piece, and I assume you know how that works, right? Yes. Yeah. Like you have you have a social slot. You can just equip that. Look a little bit silly, cool, whatever. And you can find all there's so many things. So now I look it's... sort of like a yellow Darth Vader. A little bit. Let's see, did you get the pants as well? Oh, you got the pants too. Cool. We might find the uh, chest if we're lucky. Also, is somebody like starving? Because I keep hearing. Oh god, you're oh, it's starving. Me. Okay. Oh, balls are gonna die. Oh, and <laughs> he's dead. Well, there he goes. <laughs> well, you can teleport back to us. Get your items. It's cool. No problem. As long as we don't walk over your items, it should be fine. It's a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake that, you make once. So it's the yellow bar beneath your energy bar. Also, if you hear beeping like do 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 do, that's that means someone of us, one of us is starving. All right, all right. I did not. I've got a ton of food on me, so I'll drop you some. At least, at least when you respawn, you're fed, which is fine. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was actually uh, wondering what was gonna kill you first, starvation or? Because <laughs> uh, uh, for me, I died. I died to monsters like four times. So I never even had to deal with starvation because it's like. Wait, what's oh, there's food? still some more stuff in here as well, by the way. Something that you drop. I'm just glad I didn't die to that first enemy I fought. Yeah. I did. <laughs> you did no shame. Wait, did, did you die yeah. to the pop top? Wonder? Yeah, I died to the pop top. Oh, yeah, you died in the chamber. 
Well, I mean, yeah, you didn't really have, like, a crazy sword or anything yet. No, I had no armor, I had no weapons. I just oh, had, like, the, the basic starting stuff. Yeah, I was kind of cheating a bit. <laughs> well, a little bit, a little bit. Right, so, uh, is it best to put food in your hotbar, then, so you don't, you know, forget? Um, you can put it in your hotbar, but if you just go to your inventory, you have a you have an entire food tab. Just go there, drag it outside of the window, and just left click it, and you'll eat it. Ah, that works. Mm, let's see. Uh, is roasted carrot that much better for food? Yeah, for and, sure. Just just okay. anything cooked is better. Even though a raw carrot should still be good. Technically. Yeah. I'll admit the the appeal of eating a cooked carrot. Is less than eating a raw carrot, my <laughs> my personal opinion. I've got a bunch of rice, but let me give you some good food. Here we go. Some uh, rice and pearl peas, I think. Boiled pearl peas. Mostly, I just need to throw down a campfire. I've got a ton of pearl peas and rice in my inventory. Uh, let's see. Let's so this is the portal over here, which <laughs> oh, leads you to the outpost. Yeah. Oh damn. And Oh! I, I think it's gonna ask you for 20 core fragments, or is it- I already used it. Like, I oh, okay, so it's working. We can just teleport to the outpost now. This is your central hub. Yeah, like, you, this is where you get quests and stuff like that. Oh, I see. They failed the quest, apparently. Yeah, they found a bear somewhere else. <laughs> I just failed it as well. So, this is where you have to- Yeah, you just have to meet the outpost, you have to meet the people over here, and continue the main quest a little bit. Because I think you have a quest that is like- Mm, let's see. At your main quest. Oh shit! So this is one of the stuff. vendors, which sells you a lot of stuff. All right, cool. There's two ways of getting a lot of things. Like either you have a lot of pixels, or you just get them. You sell so Actually, I don't have any weapons to sell. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I already sold all of my spares. I guess I have a really shitty axe. I'll go get rid of that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the axes. Yeah. Too much wind up. Not enough. Oomph. Yeah, no special attacks or anything. Uh, not a fan. Go with spears. So let's see. So yes. let's have a really good cooking table over here. Oh right, uh, hazmat helmet. Seeing as Tom already has one, I can sell the spare. Because mm -hmm. I think our mission is, by the way, to actually scan the objects in the outpost as well. But we can. We can we'll wait. postpone that until we get to Yeah, we'll wait until... Today. Yeah. And it, there should also be a, a compass, like, next to your quest thing, to lead you where you need to go, in which direction. Oh, alright, okay. Do I need to buy this auto so, chip to fix my ship? Uh, no, 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 the, uh, the auto chips over there, that's for, like, other vehicles. Ah, right, okay. To fix your ship, you need to recruit crew members, which you can do through random questing and everything, or you hire penguins. Or you just buy fake license over at this guy, which costs pixels. I didn't know you could buy things from this guy. Oh wow, that's expensive. Yep, yep, he does rip you off. Oh, it's the maggot man again. Look, look at this guy. Uh, he's still... uh. Also the hazmat suit dude. Okay, there's cool people here. He's, he's still in your style, Tom. <laughs> I mean, he's got the backpack as well. Looks oh great. yeah. That backpack looks dumb. Also, a penguin with a gun walking around. That's normal. What, yeah. What the balls is going on over here, man? Those, like, hieroglyphics and shit? Yeah, oh. you're at the Ark right now, which is where yeah. you learn more about the story. Ah. So, right, I'll just wire through these quests, then? The... Yeah, 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 just talk to the lady. I think you actually get yourself, like, an intro cinematic as well. It's what, what I want to do... Like, nothing to sell. Oh, let's actually see what Frog is selling right now. Is he still selling island stuff? Oh, you get the- oh, yep, you get Spike Ball. That's cool. Does it- oh, it doesn't even use energy. Oh, that's useful. Uh, oh, they're does, still selling uh, little jump, girls. Though. Well, that's yeah, you're, you're actually locked to the uh, floor, that's but cool. it does mean, like, you can just warm up everything, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, hey! Yep, you know he's got. <laughs> I I uh, got twenty more now. Oh my god, man! <laughs> it's okay. That's... How much money? <laughs> I have, uh, uh, that would be fifteen hundred. It's not oh bad. Fifteen hundred. We we could have bought like a fluffalo or something. Shh. We could have um, bought a mushi. Get some milk from that. Could have. Get some chickens. Could have. Two deeds. Didn't wanna. <laughs> I mean, I've got I've got like uh, I got seven thousand more. 
You, you, you've been farming. Good God. I, I found. Okay, you know how I mentioned goggles. Yeah. So they I make got a lot of four money? of them. And then like several more things in the same run. Like there was just a bunch of like crappy chests in a row. And it's like, do you like goggles? Because that's the only thing you're getting for these. <laughs> See, I need to scan more stuff over here. Oh, right. I forgot scanning. Can we, um... I assume we can't use the, the pixel... Uh, yeah, the pixel printer, yeah. We can recreate most of the things we uh, scan. But not, like, a lot of the unique structures in here. Like, Yeah, we can't... no, not the vendors. Like, that, okay. that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. So this area that we're in at the moment, is that the same for everyone? Is it the same kind of hub area for everyone? Like, you'll get the same? Yeah. Right, okay. I don't know if the, um... I, I don't know if it's exactly the same, like if we went back to... Yeah, the outpost uh, is pretty much world. always the same, except for the people. Like, there's yeah. always gonna be random people walking around all over right. the place. But it, it's one of the few static things in Starbound that doesn't generate randomly. Like, it's always going to be like this, so once you know it, you know it. And you should also activate the teleporter once you're done over there. Because oh, there's yeah. actually two over here. Let's see, is there anything else I'm missing from here? I bought another chicken egg, so we've got that. Okay. If you save up a little bit more money, by the way, you can actually buy a hover bike, if that's your thing. Uh, I was actually... Saving the money to buy a mech. I've got the mech mod, and that's oh, good for, like, okay. That that will be stuff. ridiculous. <laughs> we might actually want to pick that mod up for this run. Uh, if you want to grab it, next it's time. it's fairly cool. Some of them are kind of um, destructive. Yeah, I, I <laughs> figured we break it out if we're ever in like a. I'm not gonna say a forced. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, hey, uh, the teleporter scannable, uh, and apparently the higher fix. Um, but yeah, if we ever have to, like, go farming for tungsten or something. Mm-hmm. Actually, a good way to farm ores is to go to asteroid fields as well, which we haven't done yet. Oh, yeah. Let's the scan. Mm. Let's see. Uh, does this area loop around? No, it doesn't. There's just kind of this edge. Wait. Oh, I, you you can actually check out the bottom of the outpost because there used to be a quest down there. Question: If I use my spike ball, can I get outside yeah, of yeah, the yeah. arc? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to go to the underside of the outpost. Okay. Uh, currently, I think I'm on the top, which is kind of confusing. I, I went as far right as I could, and then I kept w going. So yeah, this guy will fix up your ship eventually. He also sells vehicles right now. So he's telling me to go to a uh, mining facility. To grab yeah, okay, cool. 20 yeah, crystals. That's your first mission. Awesome. So over here, before we go, you want to activate the teleporter over here, like by pressing this. Is that a guy wearing a hamburger helmet? What the fuck? <laughs> is, that, is that for real? So uh, if you activate this and give it a name, whatever you want, you can always teleport here. Uh... Alright, perfect. So that means we, we could probably also fight Dreadwing today, which should be cool. Okay, I'm not going to explore too much on the outside of this. That'll get weird. Uh, can you switch? No, you can't switch your, your upgrade chips on the fly, I assume. Um, no. Your tech chips, you mean? Yeah. So no, like... no, you, you gotta get back to the tech console. You can actually okay. buy a tech console for your ship, which means you can just change whatever that is. Okay. This costs 5,000. So, I mean, well, we can go on the mission right now. Yeah, might as well. Let's do that. Uh, Tom, I think you're going to have to go back to your ship and talk to it for a second, but it could be wrong. All right. Yeah, you have to go back to your ship, talk to the ship AI, and uh, select the mission tab. And then we, uh, we can get going. And that's going to be the first big mission. All right, awesome. Very good. Okay. We're actually being a lot faster right now, so we're, we're doing good. Yeah. Oh. What is my, what's my best food stuff to eat? For um, does it give you like any well fed bonuses or buffs like you get in Terraria? Uh, yeah, just... the, um, let's see. Generally, you, you just want to eat anything that's cooked if you just want to restore hunger. Later on, you'll be able to make uh, food that actually gives you a lot more buffs. Right now, we don't really know what exactly gives you buffs because they don't tell you, I think. Let's do see. you know? 
Yeah, there's uh, there's a mod that gives us more like expanded descriptions. Yeah, that, uh, we need to get that eventually. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I, I think uh, between sessions we'll sit down and be like, so what what mods here are actually actually worthwhile? Aye. Well, yeah, the cool stuff is that a lot it's like a lot of it is client side, so nothing messes up the uh, multiplayer. Yeah. Like we don't crash or anything like that, which is fantastic, of course. Right. So I'll just head to the mining facility, and you can just follow along. Yep. And yep. yep. Sound. Okay, right. so yeah, first mission, awesome. All right, uh, let's see. Did he already get there? And he did. Hey, Just sitting here waiting for you. Right, let's uh, let's get on about it then. Right, what what are the odds on me dying several times here? Am I gonna die quite a lot? Uh, I died on fine. my own, but I think you'll be okay. Oh, apparently the uh, the toilets are already scanned. Hey! See, on a mission as well, we can also find costumes and stuff like that. And generally, as always, like, when you find containers, loot them. Like, you can actually find ranged weapons and stuff like that in these missions too, which are uh, really ah. good. There's actually a shotgun over here, so feel free. A shotgun? Holy shit. Nice! Is a good one? Uh, is a Shade Co. Uh, side Destroyer? Or P-Side Destroyer? I'm not sure. For ammo, do you use uh, energy? Ammo works on energy, yeah. Oh. It's energy. Well, his shotgun looks cooler than mine does. <laughs> yeah, I've got no gun, so... Eh. I, I, I decided to buy six tung tungsten just to, just to oh, see Oh, cool. If... You can actually make a shotgun. That does look... It looks good. Looks yeah, cool. It's like, it just, you know... It's not really Western, but I mean... Well, shotgun. it's more Western-y than Tom's space <laughs> destroyer gun. <laughs> I guess. Right, I found a blueprint so are, for a blast door. I didn't even know you could get blueprints like that. Yeah, you can was, find yeah. some like furniture pieces and stuff um, yep. on missions. Oh, yeah. So we're here on this mission to get you Urkis crystals originally, but we're also here to solve like what the fuck is going on. Because clearly the facility is overrun and you'll see by what, like uh, right now. Uh, so it's those horrible things, fleshy mutants that are called mountains. Oh, damn. I like this the shotgun. shotgun. Does, this shotgun does not mess around. <laughs> To be fair, though, because I'm fairly inexperienced, I need all the advantages I can get. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's kind of cool about this mission. You you tend to find, if you're lucky, rocket launchers and stuff as well. Nice. Yeah. Just in the first crate you check, and then it just, like, okay, cool, I got a ranged weapon now. Awesome. Oh, God. There's no friendly no. fire, is there, before I kill someone? No, uh, no, no we can't. Unless so, you throw a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you that's can really burn us to death. We found also, that out. In missions, you can't break down blocks and stuff like that. Yeah, there's no mining. All right, okay. Man, those shotguns. Let's see. Uh, let's see, that's a lunar base console. Nope. I'm still looting these, and I'm like, I probably shouldn't. Probably should just leave it all to <laughs> leave it all to Tom. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we could just leave all the loot in here to him. I, I've got I've got this bad Borderlands mentality where it's just yeah, like, take <laughs> you must get the stuff. Yeah, totally. It's fine if there's anything you want to take. Like because I don't know, it doesn't matter. You can take whatever you want. It's fine. Well, at this point, you have caught up to where I am in the game. So, uh, except for a little bit of underground related stuff, uh, you actually are more or less aware of everything. That so I know. Over here, we're also going to come up on the first secret, which means we'll get like part of the costume that is unique to this mission. Oh god, no. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. So, oh, they'll there's loot over here. Yeah, they, they spit their flesh at you. It's really gross. Space suit trousers. And a codex. The codex is like a little lore book, Skyrim stuff. Like, if you use it, you will be able to read it whenever you want to. Ah, nice. I, scan I really need myself a new weapon. Yeah. It's getting outdated. Well, you still we'll, do a fair amount of damage. When we get to the nukes, uh, nukes planet, uh, next planet, we'll just go on a weapon hunt, I think. Yeah, we need to go spelunking, find some cool stuff. Oh, Noticing shit. my shotgun has a bit of a delay to it. It's like, fire! No! Fire! <laughs> This is still handy for knocking everyone back. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, like, I can only fire my shotgun, I want to say, about three times before I run out of energy and then I have to wait for it to recharge. That's pretty rough. 
Also, if we go to, yeah, if we go over there, we'll find another secret too. And because we have Morph Ball now, we can actually get to an additional secret, which is up here. Oh, really? Give me a second. So, when you say Morph Ball, is that like a skill you can learn? Like, uh... Yeah, yeah that's we, tech. We actually should have gone through and got it for you. Ah, it's uh, okay. We, we can buy some copper bars to get him, like, double jump, dash, and everything. Oh my god, yeah, you have the Spike Ball, so you can just flip the switch. So we have to flip two levers, and then we'll be able to enter a secret uh, room. Okay. And if you come over here, by the way, Tom, we we'll, right. can get another part of your costume. These uh, pink fellas don't fuck around, do they? Yeah, they're mean. They're they're not nice people. Okay. You know, I I feel like uh, Gull and I are just like kind of the the sidekicks for <laughs> a bizarre superhero. <laughs> That, that cape really ties that outfit. <laughs> it does, doesn't. Cape it. works with a lot of things, surprisingly. So down here, it is a secret. Okay. Ooh. I think I've almost got I a full space suit now. Yeah, you get the nice. full. You get the full set from this area. Uh, so is there anything else over here? Or is it all? Oh no, that's the way back. Like we oh. we decided to go down instead of uh, left. Ah. Yo, th this is like way, way cooler than I thought Starbound was going to be, if I'm being honest. I didn't expect there to be like proper missions and shit. I, I, I don't yeah, know what I was expecting really. really. Have, uh, they had no plan for like a concrete story with giant missions like this. And then they were like, okay, we're going to add story. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, worked out. Uh, How much, how many other like 2D sandbox games have you played, Tom? I, I played... Terraria before it hit 1.2, um, right the way through, so I missed like, all the hard mode shit in Terraria and all the good mm -hmm. stuff. Um, other than that, not many, to be honest. Okay. Because, yeah, I've played all of the hard mode shit that you were, you were just talking about, and that was... I was expecting something a lot closer to Terraria here, and, I mean, it definitely gets that in terms of, like, mining and stuff. Yeah. But the, I, I find this organization system is a lot friendlier. Terraria, I'm always just like, what? Am I supposed to be doing? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Terraria kind of throws you in and is like defeat bosses. Okay. Yeah. That's fun. I, I it's like. It's really fun. Yeah. I like the accessory system in uh, Starbound. I haven't. I don't know if this game really has that. I mean, Terraria. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, well, uh, uh, it's, it's so, good. It's the good only example. downside about Terraria is that it's purely gear based. Like, I guess that's also over. Uh, well, the case with this kind of. Because what we wear decides how good we are, but we are kind of leveling up our manipulator at least. Yeah. Which is some form of progression. In Terraria, it's all about like, yeah, you the gear you wear, that's how strong you are. But I guess you do get HP and mana in that game. So it kind of counts. So we got a checkpoint now, it's I think? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a checkpoint. checkpoint. So you said before one of the races had like a uh, guns and western things. So did, did, did the races like kind of designate class or is that... Just down Titans Not really. and gear and stuff. Uh, you, you can be what you want, basically, but Wanderer can make uh, a lot more ranged weapons than we can right now. Yeah. So I, I start with the ability to make an assault rifle, a uh, revolver, a pistol, and a shotgun at yep. differing qualities. Uh, Gold, do you know where the other secret is? Is it actually um, like yeah, this right here? Let's see. Yeah, it's it's up here right now. You If you yeah follow the like, Go this way? Here, okay, just go up and you'll find it. Way. It's going right. to be up there. So he's just uh, gonna flip a lever. <laughs> Gets us a secret. The morph ball's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was like, what should I buy? This one seems the most useful. Okay. And the last costume secret is over here. So we will have a full space man suit. We're overwhelming this guy now. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I mean, originally this guy was kind of ineffective anyway. Wait, can I go in here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. You just get stuck. Sweet. Yeah. So Stuck now we're heading towards the boss. Definitely, definitely what happens. I was kind of hoping there would be like a, a crate in there oh, with like shit. money or something. Another it's like a hammer man. Yeah, luckily the hammer men are kind of awful. Yeah, they suck. They yeah. suck. I'll just poke them in the back. I wonder if they can hit me. Even the if they stuff. hit you, they barely do any damage. So we have to Oops. access one secret. Sorry. By the way, you want to be careful with dropping down here. So we're gonna take the left road over here. We'll meet you down there. Oh, right, we okay, got yeah. morph balls, so we can finally. Well, we can actually open it, I guess. Um, let's see. Any cool stuff? So we get to see what's in here. Oh damn. 
Oh, shit, that is a, that's a fancy chest. It's got It should be a... the translation wheel. You can take it. Yeah, so that gets us a tome wheel. eventually. We, and the Ooh. tome lets us decipher what is written up here. Oh. So we, we get to read the hieroglyphics if we do the missions properly. Okay. Uh, should I flip the switch or wait for you guys? Ah, uh, wait for oh, us. Almost, uh, yeah, all right. So the first boss is not actually about fighting it. Like we have to flip four switches down there and then we have to fire the gun. So you want to like hold your healing items or stuff like that and make sure that we don't get stomped. So let's go. Right, it's no it's not too crazy. It's, it's a nice introduction. And that thing is turning everyone into mutants. mutants. So am I to flip the switch or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we gotta switch. flip the switch four times. Like four of them. All right. And then we fire the gun three times. It'll disrupt his shot. I'll take the right side. Yep, I get left. Uh, ow. And I'll uh, I'll run about and try not die. <laughs> oh, you can flip the switches. You, you, you can fire the gun. You can fire the gun over here. That also actually would work. Okay. We'll let you fire the last shot. Eh. Oh, didn't get this one up here apparently. Yep. Okay, so now you, you can go fire the gun, Tom. Uh, uh, this is not hero. good. Is this, is this okay? Is that safe? <laughs> Here, I will serenade you within the safe <laughs> you can, zone. You can go be a hero. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. You got it. And Nailed boom! It. Oh! It summoned a thing! Wait, did you get the weapon? <laughs> oh, it's a monster. Okay. It, I it we summoned had a random moment. enemy. I didn't know it would do that. Uh, yeah, First try. Take you First try. Spawning enemies. Oh yeah. Uh, also, uh, Gull, you you had lamented the fact that your like AI thing isn't uh, cool. Oh, I changed it back. I used a mod. Uh, okay. I yeah, mod. I got the mod too. I'm like, yay! Damn. I got a horse. This gave me a, yeah, a rotic matter wrecker. What the fuck? Yeah, you have a rocket launcher now, and you got a bunch of stuff for reward from there. And so now you're basically up to date with us. So welcome to the party. Woo! Yeah. Exciting times. So, so now we can show you the colony too. Did he? Uh, did you, yeah, did you get the crystals from Yes, you? yeah, just pick them up there. Okay, cool. So, okay, good. Uh, now we want to go back to the outpost, and then we get our, like, first major mission to find out other shit. I actually forgot to get my crystals the first time around, so I'm like, uh... <laughs> guess we gotta do that again. 